今天打算跟一个南大的朋友吃麻辣烫。In Japanese subway, the mask isn't enforced, but most people still wear it. I meet my friend at the exit, and then we go and find the Mala Town shop. The summer climate seems like a mix of Nanjing and Beijing. The temperature is hotter in Nanjing, but in Nanjing, if you go in the shade, it's still hot. Here, if you go in the shade, it cools down a little. We found the store after a while, but it didn't look like it accepted credit cards, so my friend had to take out cash. In Japan, there's a digital payment system called PayPay. You can understand it as Japan's PayPal, but it's not widely used like PayPal in China. From what I recall, out of the seven stores I went to in the past week, only two or three of them accepted PayPay. Still, it's mostly cash-based, so bring cash if you ever come, and credit card for backup. Took out cash and came back. Want to change? Want to change? Want to change? Want to change? The store is closed, but it didn't say a reason. It just said preparing. So then we find a random ramen shop nearby. You made some of this. That Japanese is weird. I should have said "futari," which means two people. <laughs> Here they serve you ice water by default. I wasn't used to that coming from China, where it's all hot water. <laughs> I tried so hard, but it was too salty. Maybe next time we can try the malata. My selfie stick is broken, so we go to the electronics store to find a new selfie stick. We found one, but it's too expensive. So then I just go home and buy a new one on the internet. And that was pretty much it. 谢谢大家的观看，欢迎点赞投币。And I hope my clickbait title didn't make you guys feel tricked. Even I didn't know the store was closed. And so yeah, next time, 查加油。